The story of the Kingston orphans is not the only orphan story in Canada West, as it was known in the time. Uh, there were also uh, orphans that had to be placed uh, within the city of Toronto. Now imagine in the summer of 1847, uh, Toronto was about 20,000 people, uh, about 38,560 migrants descended upon the city, uh, and a colossal effort was undertaken by the Municipal Council and the Board of Health to accommodate uh, many of these immigrants who were sick. Some were taken to the General Hospital, which had been converted into an Ebergard Hospital. It's now the site of the Toronto Film Festival uh, building. Uh, others were taken to a convalescent hospital if they were um, not as severely ill as those in the General Hospital. And a Widows and Orphans Asylum was established on Bathurst Street. Um, it took in hundreds of widows and orphans, and specifically 197 orphan children who were then placed by uh, the uh, the home uh, and by Catholic priests uh, to local farms, artisans, uh, and shopkeepers in Toronto and in the hinterland. Um, we've been able to track a hundred uh, a good portion of these 197 children uh, many of whom were given contracts with them so that their 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 life in their placement area uh, would be uh, not onerous uh, to the extent that they would be paid, uh, they would be have pay in increments, they would be given blankets, uh, they would be given proper board uh, and, uh, and food uh, in these places, whether it be in a blacksmith shop or whether it be uh, in, in, in a farm situation. Uh, it's the only area in the country that we've seen where contracts were part of uh, the whole placement of orphan children. Um, the Catholic Church was fairly strict about the fact that, that Catholic children should be placed in Catholic homes and similarly Protestant children should be placed in Protestant homes. And to the best of their ability, a mixed board of Catholic and Protestant supervisors over the Widows and Orphans Asylum uh, actually managed to do the very best they could and also have terms of agreement established with them so that the orphans were not exploited uh, as they moved into a new phase of their lives.